I have this prompt right here. It's called AutoClean. It's basically like a premium auto dealership website. I have the website overview here, key design elements, uh, page structure. So this is very important if you wanna have the really, really good website. I also have example Unsplash images. Unsplash is basically a stock image uh, database and I can actually go here and add the image as well. Um, about AutoClean, featured car section, stuff like that. Um, and also obviously the tech stack, right? Front end, back end and database. So uh, yeah, let's uh, go here and let's just copy this. So we're just going to copy all of this and we're going to go to Claude and we just wanna paste this here, right? So once you paste this, you wanna click okay here. And as you can see, it will create a comprehensive HTML prototype for AutoClean premium dealership website. So it will showcase the luxury design elements, stuff like that, right? So right now it's in the process, so let's uh, wait a little bit. Now, once this is done, this is how it's going to look like, right? So it looks really awesome. Obviously the images behind are not yet fetched and synced, so bear with me here. I will also fix this as well. Uh, but as you can see, we have about auto clean. Also, this is an image. We need to add an image here. Uh, we have here featured vehicles, as you can see, looks really awesome. And then we have why choose a certified pre-owned vehicle, stuff like that. Obviously, this is not really, uh, this is more so like an auto dealership, right? Um, but yeah, so, okay, once we have this, what we can do is we can go to code we can copy the code and we can go to VO by Vertzel. So we're going to go here and say, uh, based on this code, create a website and also add, add stock images from Unsplash in the website as a placeholders. And then you just put here the code, just uh, Control V and you will have this right here, click OK. And um, yeah, let's just hit it off here. And basically we'll need to wait a little bit until the uh, VO goes in here and codes the website for you again. So we'll need to wait for that. And then what we can do is we can actually go here and deploy it.